2018, I was still playing for the Bulls, and then Matt Cornell and Cockers phoned me. Uh, me and Carissa, my wife, were still on her grandparents' farm in Volksres, South Africa. And we just got a call saying, Mike, you're playing bloody well from me and Cockers. Three of figure, this, 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 sign with us, come play for us. And I was like, I was looking to Carissa and we thought it's a scam. And then we said, okay, you know what, let's do it. And then just made the big move in two suitcases and we said, we're gonna be like sponges. You know, take everything in and just um, embrace the culture, the people, the club, and it's been magnificent. Because you always watch Six Nations, you know, with big names like Alan Wynne Jones, George North, um, and then to go, you know, face to face playing them in the Northern Hemisphere rugby, you know, cold weather, wet grass, set piece focused, and big collisions, big bodies. And to play that first game was magnificent. Um, it was an honor, and I knew that I want to do this uh, a lot of uh, games to come. This is my biggest brag point of the house. So if I can show you here, um, the cabinet of dreams and goals that comes to life. So this is all my Scotland jerseys and Edinburgh jerseys. Uh, I have the Barbarians jersey there as well. And this is my most impressive one. A Queen Margaret University degree, master with extension for Carissa. Um, uh, so that's actually my proudest moment of the five years in Edinburgh and Scotland. So this is it. Um, hopefully there's many more to come and I need actually a bigger closet because I'm going to play another 10 years of rugby. It means a lot. Um, it's, it's, it's a massive honour, you know, every time they shout shoe I feel more inspired to do much more for the country and for the club Edinburgh. It started with the Edinburgh fans and then the Scotland fans, everyone started doing it. But it's for, for me and Carissa and my wife, we always said, you know, coming from the Bulls in South Africa, to play for fans that, and for, for people that, you know, they pay to watch your game, you know, for you to give everything, um, they, they like it and they, they can see it, the sincerity of it. So you want to do that much more often. And um, it's, it's a ma massive honour and privilege. I, I don't take it lightly. Like, uh, I think Bill Mata is the only guy that didn't play for Scotland that got a century for Edinburgh. So that just shows you how massive it is to get your name on that board. And again, it's not for personal gain, but I'm glad to say that, you know, in five years I've committed to the club and I've get, get given everything in training and games, you know, to get your name on that board, to make it a better place for, you know, future stars as well. You know, that's the footsteps I want to follow and leave Edinburgh and um, the Edinburgh City inspired for, you know, young lads to come through. Um, through Edinburgh, through Scotland, to, to play for their club and country. It's gonna, it's like an espresso, a spiritual espresso. So, uh, probably fortunate enough, if everything goes to plan, um, run out, you know, the fans will cheer, etc. But then it's, there's a job to do, you know, body on the line, keep the focus up. Um, the intensity is gonna be big against Corner, and um, it's a must win for us. So, we have to go, you know, not chase the game, but leave everything out there, for, especially for the fans, and it's my honourth game. So um, I'll, I'll be so motivated and inspired just to give, you know, 100% more um, than, I've, than, than what I have been given the, the previous 99 caps. So um, I can't wait and, you know, I'll relish the moment and probably afterwards we'll go and celebrate with all the friends and family. But it's a special night to give back to the club. It's not for the personal jersey 100th cap. So that night is about giving back for the people of the city and for Scotland and for Edinburgh and um, that's what I intend to do.